Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. Got some fresh grit for them. Bought a new bag today, so that's been pretty good. And then all the parents, and I feel the baby's coming out for something to eat. It's big Leo. There's this other one over here making a noise. Just the boss. So they're all doing pretty well. Filled up um, the food bowl. Bought some new seed and stuff today, so it's looking pretty good. Got some new grit too, we definitely needed some of that. Um, this stuff's a lot heavier in clay, but they do really like the clay, which is the ready colour. They'll definitely go through, pick all that out, because that's good for helping break down peas and things like that. Have a look at that little baby in a minute. You're very noisy, aren't you, Leo? <laughs> we'll have a look at um, Titan. There goes Titan. But his baby's looking pretty good. They're not too far away from getting some rings on them. Still got heaps of those rings left, so it's not going to be too much of a problem to get them on. A little bit of fresh poo there. Babies at this age are definitely going to poo a lot. I probably need to change out this nest liner anyway in the next few days, just in case it gets too damp. Because they definitely eat a lot at this age. storm there. That's the mother. And that's a daughter there from last year and we've been breeding her as well with Titan. Definitely two of my favourite hens that I've got. Shock coming out. I don't know what he's after. He's just picking up the scraps. I don't know what he's eating up the floor for because there's plenty of room there at the tray. There's one of the little babies we need to take over to the block. He's he's definitely ready. I just forgot to take him out there today, so I might get him out there in the next few days. Get in and have a look at these little babies. You've noticed I've let out this cock bird and that hen again. Um, I'm not going to have too much more time to worry about repairing birds up, so I've just shut off both of these boxes because there's no no need to keep them open because that's just going to encourage them to breed. So I've shut off this one 
shut off that one and we don't want anyone going in there and also took out the eggs that were down here because we definitely do not want that either red hen she's straight back in here on her little babies let's see if she's going to let me have a look at them this one's probably nearly ready for a new liner as well but luckily we ended up with two red checkers which is pretty cool definitely been after some more reds but um yeah quite lucky we got them both in the same same round this last round we got two two blue checkers now we've got red checkers and they look quite good the one we bred from them before that's already out in the loft out there is pretty already pretty looking really good so it's gonna be interesting to see how these little ones turn out see if we can get them into some better light Hopefully these ones do pretty well and they last out when we start breaking them in and flying them. Because I definitely would like to um, have a few more reds in the breeding program. Just because they are quite nice, especially the red checkers. The mother's Amelia. I don't mind Amelia's, but um, I'm definitely a sucker for a good red checker. I just like the more solid colour. She's still quite nice looking though. We'll probably get another round out of her, I reckon, too. I don't want to do too much breeding, but I reckon we might be able to squeeze another round out of them. I could even look at putting another nest bowl in here. Um, come on. You've definitely calmed down a lot. Just let me put the nest... Shh. I just want to put the nest bowl up there. Definitely want to try and get one more round out of her anyway before we move, if possible. We still got these are all babies in here. These two here. Let's see if I can get them. These are some big Leo Hermans and pretty sure a bit of Gaby, Gaby cross Hooven as well. So you can definitely tell they are got some of that really big Hooven in them. But oh, that's a beautiful little chick, that one. Look at that. Size compared to my hand. Definitely going to be a nice, big, solid bird. So it'll be interesting to see how they go. Here you go, little fella. I'll put you back in there with the rest of them. These are all pretty much ready to be weaned, I think. I'll just check that one. Pretty sure they're all feathered up under the wing. And big Leo. He's a, a Leo Hermans as well. Oh, he's got a fair old smack on him. I won't um, disturb him too much, but there's his little baby. Only raising a single chick this time. He sometimes throws only one fertile egg. So stay tuned. I'm going to see you all in the next video.